Welcome to Antidote to Anxiety, number 14. In this moment, on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being high and one being low, how's your anxiety? Yes, check in, notice. Are you feeling it here? Are you feeling it through your whole body? Are you barely feeling it? I'm Georgina Grace, and this series of Antidotes to Anxiety came because a client of mine was in deep anxiety after the death of their spouse. Well, as things happen, anxiety is very prevalent right now. And so it comes up in a topic, at least as a topic, at least once or twice every week in my life. Last week, I had the opportunity to be with my dear jun friend from junior high, Barb Golden. She lives in Omaha, Nebraska, and she flew out to Portland, Oregon. We had a wonderful time. And we have been friends, as I said, since junior high and talked on the telephone every week since 1970. So when you do the math, that's almost 53 years of phone calls. Yes, it's a lot of time we've invested in our friendship and it's been so worth it. We couldn't be more opposite. Barb is down to earth and so practical. So when she started telling me about anxiety that she had experienced personally. I said, Barb, tell me more, what happened? She said, I could feel this closing in in my chest. And as I was with Greg, that's her husband. And she said, I said to him, I've got to die, I've got to die. And she, he said, Barb, you're breathing, you're not dying. His voice and presence shifted her from that state of fear, false evidence appearing real, back into the present moment. Well, Barb is very practical, as I said. So when she was at her doctor the next time, she said, what's this stuff with anxiety? I had this attack. It felt like a panic attack. And he said to her, when you feel that rush coming on, breathe. Exhale and breathe. Well, how many times have you heard me say that to you? To employ the cleansing breath where you exhale loudly, and breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, noticing the temperature of the air. And to make it even more significant, bring your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. So what I learned by listening to Barb's story and want to share with you is when you begin to sense yourself moving into anxiety, Stop and employ the tools from this series. There are many of them. I'm not saying your anxiety is unreal. It is. It's a state of being. It's a state of energy. And you are more powerful than that state of being. You get to shift with the choice, with the tools, with your words that say no. Because that's what Barb did the next time. When she felt that coming up, she just said, no, you can't be here. And by doing that, she exhaled all the air out of her system and she felt her feet and started to breathe. So now in this moment, on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being high and one being low, how's your anxiety? 
I'd love to hear in the space below this video. Thanks so much.